everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a simple tutorial on this eye look. It's just kind of like a soft cut crease look. I posted a photo of it on Reddit and a couple of people asked me for a tutorial, so here it is. I think this is a really fun look to do. It still uses neutral colours, so it's not going to be too far out of anyone's comfort zone. But it is just something a little bit different, a little bit more fun. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Thanks guys! First of all, I'm starting with a clean, moisturised base and then I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser just all over the lids. brows after my eyeshadow but I'm going to do them first today because I'm going to be using sticky tape and I want to line it up with my eyebrow so I'm just taking the third brown color from the Chi Chi Classics palette and this little angled brush by Eco Tools and I'm just going to fill them in a little bit and both brows done sorry I didn't film it properly I had to be super close to the mirror to do my brows and camera just can't see that. Next I'm just going to take my Sourcebox Etude palette and I'm going to use the colour Beaming which is just this like yellowy creamy colour here. I'm just going to put that all over the lids. This is just, I'm just using this one as a base shadow so that when I put darker colours on top they'll blend better. two strips about this big, I know you can't really see it because it's clear, I'm just going to chuck that on the back of my hand to get rid of like the first layer of stickiness so we don't hurt our face. And then I'm just going to line it up from the bottom of my lashes to the end of my eyebrow and just stick it on there. Try not to get him in my hair because that might show. And that is why I did my eyebrows first. Now I'm just going to go in with this colour from the Etude palette which is Cream Dream on just a fluffy little brush which is dirty, don't hate me. Um, this one is from Delium Tools and it's number 776. I'm just going to pop that kind of above the crease going from the sticky tape out here all the way to the inner corner. I want most of the colour to be on the outer corner so I kind of like go back and forth a couple of times there before I bring it in. Next up I'm going to take this brown which is caramel, just on the same brush, and I'm going to put this one kind of more into the crease than above it. Same thing as before though, more colour on the outer corner than the inner corner, so I'm going to go back a couple, back and forth a couple of times on this side. such a pretty colour. I think it's really like unusual to have in a, in a neutrals palette as well. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to go back with a little bit more of that and deepen 
love that color. of doing my eyeliner but that's okay I just did a wing on each side and then I pulled off the sticky tape and you were left with this nice like a sharp crisp line I then just applied some mascara you can also apply false lashes if you want to I didn't because I've been wearing them all weekend and I just want to give my eyes a little break now I'm gonna go away and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back all right now that I've done the rest of my makeup I'm just gonna quickly put some color underneath my eyes um, I'm just taking the same brush that we used before and I haven't put any additional product on it it's still gonna have stuff on there and I just want it to be like a really light wash so I'm just gonna chuck that right underneath So that is the completed eye look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.